In high terror, sound is not all about vibrations. It is also a quantified data. In the acoustic lab, every tiny sound is amplified. 78 different types of noise, 252 types of tests and verifications, exquisitely crafted high terra noise cancelling software is built to learn on its own. Human voices are precisely extracted. No matter how noisy the real-world condition is, high terra two-way radios can always find the voice that touches our heartstring the most. The answer to what makes a good two-way radio does not lie in our engineers. It lies in you. It lies in our users. 105 design drafts. 105 failures. Perseverance is what gets us through the downs, up to the breakthrough at the 106th attempt. An excellent two-way radio must pass all tests. Two meter drop, four hour immersion, 40,000 times bottom durability test, going through hundreds of thousands of tests and experiments, only to present you two-way radios that are safer and more reliable. Five hundred times of spectrum meter test to ensure smooth channel signal. One thousand times of oscilloscope test to ensure the consistency of the network interface. We renew current solutions to improve battery life and stability. We believe every effort will be paid off. Every endeavor will finally turn into a success. Hey there, I'm Howie from Hyteros Team Do Product Line, and I'm very honored to represent Why This Radio, our latest generation of DMR terminal products to you. For the last 30 years, Hyteros has forced in the global PMR industry and committed to innovate and provide user-oriented critical communication products across multi-mode technologies and standards, from terminal products to a full range of products and solutions, from analog product series to digital standard product series to smart multi-mode product series. Hatero has never stopped its pace of innovation. We built to the market the world's first ultra-thin digital radio, 21 millimeter thickness. Even today, it's a very sexy radio. We launched the world's first highest intrusive safe naval radio to CIA. Of course, we can support the exploration grand 2A and 2B radio. And release the world's first multi-mode terminal, PTC-760. Through which process, we have collected the opinions and suggestions from thousands of 49 users. Our own technology has become more solid. And entire Hetero PMR product portfolio has been enriched. As one of the industry leaders, our understanding of the communication challenges the industry users are facing in the public safety, energy, transportation, utilities, commercial and other industry verticals has driven us to continue to innovate the next generation of Digital Edge series. We knew that designed its hardware platform and software architecture to further improve the performance and deeply optimize the user interactive experience, only to provide our customer with more professional, more advanced, 
and the more practical products and solution service. The next generation of H series DMR terminal products not only serve better performance and business functions, get even easier to use, but also focus on the practical attributes to the mission critical use needs. They will be your trustworthy partner at any time and any place. And together, we can help you achieve more in both dining operations and emergency response to make the world more efficient and safer. Now, I'd like to invite my colleague Yuki and Yang to present the next generation DMR radio. Thank you. Thank you, Hao. Now, let's take a closer look at HP6 and HP7 series. Here are some data which is easy to understand. But what's the story behind the numbers? Everything fits into a smaller shell and the radio is 13% lighter. As you may see, that our engineers have done a lot of design optimizations for the knobs, materials, and back clips. Under the hood, in the radio, each series is a newly architected design to make room for a bigger battery and new technologies, modules, platforms, and integration schemes. HP78X comes with a newly designed 2.4-inch screen. The bigger screen, the better experience. The screen intuitively shows more information. For example, with the message preview reminder feature, you can see the information even on the home page, saving the trouble of multiple pressing on the key. With the smart button, you can directly access the preset shortcut menu with a light pressing. On the back, it's a brand new clip without screws. HP6 increases 4 mm in thickness. The trade-off is very straightforward. It accommodates a bigger and more powerful battery, and users can have a better grip on the radio, especially with gloves on. I believe audio is the most important fact when choosing radios for the team. Whether it's loud enough and clear enough, what have we done to make sure our next generation DMR radios deliver optimal audio? We bring the hardware and software engineers together, trying to do the best on both sides and integrate for optimal audio. We select highly precise and reliable speakers and enhance it with new DSP algorithm. This unique integration brings balanced frequency response curve and achieves top-notch audio experience. Is that all? Surely no. HP6 and HP7 are embedded with AI noise cancellation to help us better filter the environmental noise and ensure crystal clear voice communications at a critical moment. Hyteros AI noise cancellation works without delay. The moment you press PTT button, the noise cancellation effect is there. Regardless of the fluctuating levels of environmental noise, the noise cancellation capability is maintained at 30 dB. There is also a 10-level configuration of noise reduction. You can adjust according to the actual situation. For this, who found the honing sounds really annoying when the radios are too close to each other? There will be no such issue with our next generation DMR radios. We solve it with a newly development no honing algorithm for radios close to each other up to 13 centimeters. Before you can get hold of the radio and play with it, here are two clips showing the effects with noise cancellation turned on and off. First, AI noise cancellation feature is turned off. Thank you. 
有位主角，高张家伟，收多次回打，收多次回打，对，高张家伟，收多次，多次回打，大伟，大伟，高张大伟。The next video shows AI noise cancellation is turned on. You will find how obvious and impressive the difference is. We have designed products with better audio curves and loudness based on both hardware and the algorithm. We have embedded AI noise cancellation to make the audio even clearer. Is it enough? At Hytera, the answer is no. A lot of our users take the radios to really challenging environments. A simple and often seen image is the traffic police using the radio in the down pouring rain. Many of you will say that that's fine, since the radio is IP54. IP67 or even IP68 protected. You are right. Actually, there are many vendors professional radios are now IP67 certified. But don't forget, it's reactive protecting the radio from being damaged by the liquid. It doesn't ensure user experience after the water goes into speaker. Usually, the audio gets muffled and unclear when there is water ingression. At Hytera, our engineers take on a proactive approach to tackle the problem. We coordinated the hardware, structure, and algorithm to achieve fast diversion of water by the vibration of the speaker through a specially designed cavity. It's automatic and quick, loud and clear, even in pouring rain. Here is a demo clip showing the water expelled out of the radio. After the audio, let's talk about robust communication. We continue to push the limits of direct mode communications distance with completely new hardware and software. Each series have increased the communication distance by 25% in open environment. And in chunky mode, we optimized the coverage algorithms to help improve the communication quality when the signal gets weaker at the fringe of coverage. We have implemented two new patterns of quick background hunt and receive handover optimization in the H series. Complemented by our powerful voice buffer technology, these two patterns ensure robust communications when the terminals are working across networks. Every day, our users rely on radios to finish their most demanding tasks. This is what drives us to keep introducing new products and solutions to creative radios that are more powerful, more capable, and even easier to use. Next, we will introduce the H series released this time, the professional portable radio, the HP70X, HP78X portable radios at 350 to 470 MHz and 136 to 174 MHz, as well as HP60X, HP68X portable radios at 400 to 527 MHz and 136 to 174 MHz. Here is one more thing about H-Series family. Commercial portable radios are coming soon. 
HP2 and HP3 series are designed for commercial customers. They are highly portable and easy to use, such as quick charge, universal Type-C interface, smart accessories, fast wellness programming. Let's look forward HP2 and HP3 series. Now, I'd like to invite my colleague Yang to present the next generation DMR mobile radio and repeater. Thank you. Thank you, Yuki. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yang. I'm very glad to introduce you to the next generation DMR mobile radio HM78X. As my colleague said, Hatcher's next generation DMR radio delivers clear audio and more robust communication, AI noise cancellation, more intuitive user interface, 2.4 inch big screen, higher sensitivity, and other advantages. While HM78X shares those advantages, and we also have the UHF. 350 to 470 MHz, and the VHF 136 to 174 MHz. But today here, I'd like to focus on two important points about this new mobile radios. First, we add a Ethernet port at the back of the mobile radio. Why? This next generation mobile radio is designed not only as a radio, but also a gateway of the narrowband networking. We know serial port is limited. So we choose the IP connection when setting up the networks with mobile radios. It's more powerful and more convenient and common use. With the Ethernet port, it is much easier to cooperate with the third-party companies and platforms. Our ecosystem partners will be very happy about that. And now we were developing new functions based on the port, such as the data transmission, the IP connection, and the new API interfaces, and so on. Second, we optimized the control head mounting solution. Connection C cable is thinner, softer, and easier to install. You can choose out of 3 meters, 10 meters, and 40 meters length per your mounting requirement. If requested, you can have the cable length customized up to 120 meters. The radio unit supports two control heads at the same time, which brings Great flexibility of mounting on ambulance and fire engines and other big vehicles. One can you have in the gyro carbine and another in the rear compartment. This separate mounting solution is also suitable for venues that requiring signal shielding. The control head is installed inside the shielding space and the radio unit outside. So pretty much you can install this mobile radio, whatever you want. The stand radio, the fixed radio on the desktop, the radio with one control head, and the radio with two control head. So many, many, whatever you want. And just add a little bit. HM78X supports the TF card for encryption and recording. Remember, HM78X is a powerful, flexible mobile radio. It's not a traditional mobile radio. It's the next generation mobile radio. Remember, coming to the next generation DMR repeater HR106X, as you say, it's compact design, only half the size, just one your size. It has higher sensitivity, and also we have the UHF 400 to 470 megahertz, and the VHF 136 to 174 megahertz. But most importantly, 
we add a coprocessor, which greatly boosts its performance limit. Though thinner, we managed to put the adapter inside the repeater. Our customers do not need to buy a separate adapter anymore. Based on the coprocessor, we integrate a telephone gateway and a router inside the repeater, which eliminates the need for telephone gateway and the router. HR 10 6X has all-in-one, we call all-in-one, one fulfills with all. It saves space and saves cost and save manpower to set up the system. The all-in-one design also greatly simplifies the networking and making it close to plug and play. The coprocessor also enables SNAP 3.0 to ensure the customer's data security. We understand how important the data security is for our customers. We will keep developing the network security protocol to enhance the network security. Please have a look at the real side of the repeater. There are AC and DC interfaces. It supports AC and DC input simultaneously and automatic switch in case of one of them is interrupted. HR 10 60X supports web-based remote management. You just need to enter the address of the repeater on the browser to configure the settings. There will be no PC server, no software deployment, and no need of going out to the field and reconfigure the repeater. It's a great cost and a trouble saver for our customer. HR 10 6X is a versatile in connectivity. You can connect it with IP system, SIP phone system, or a hybrid way. It's worth to add before I finish my part of the presentation that HR 10 6X can smoothly upgrade to hetero DMR trunking light and similar cast system. Now, let's welcome Hall to continue his speech. Thank you. Thanks for Yang's wonderful introduction. Now, I'd like to invite Omedia's research director, Thomas, share PMR industry development trader. Thank you. Hello, my name is Thomas Lynch, and I am the executive director for critical communications and public safety at Omdia, part of Informa Group. Today, I'd like to talk to you about mission critical communications and its importance to our ever growing communications needs for professional users, not just for public safety, but also in enterprises. In recent years, we have observed how the frequency, magnitude and nature of threats to public safety have evolved. From global warming to terrorism, security challenges have changed in character and scale. Disasters can strike us everywhere from metropolitan to rural areas. And it, it is in those situations where lives are at stake that reliable and secure communications become of paramount importance. With nearly 40 million users of critical communications, almost half, 41% uh, in public safety, there are still a lot of other important users of, of communications technology, including in oil and gas and transportation, which I will talk more about. Communications can save the lives that our first responders are risking for us. Mission critical communications are those essential to the survival of an organization, whether a human life or safety is at risk of, or critical business functions and applications are effective. Given the nature of all of these systems, reliability is paramount. Guaranteeing the efficiency and user friendliness while maximizing the performance accuracy is a complex matter that should be considered through multiple aspects, namely time real-time availability and maximization of the time between failures. Space, full coverage area, without black zones capable of prioritizing resources. 
security, uncompromisable systems with multiple layers of protection, and of course, maturity. Systems we trust with open standards and diverse ecosystems to address the different needs. In terms of the market, the largest market is actually in Asia, uh, dominated still by legacy analog technology. 42% uh, in fact of the total Asia market, uh, given lots of opportunities for the new technologies, followed by cost optimized, um, which is around 34%, and this includes um, DMR, uh, PDT, et cetera, and Tetra uh, at 5%. The largest install base of cost optimized technology is in the Americas with over 7 million active users at the end of 2019, 37% of the world's actual total. However, the Asia Pacific will have the fastest growing install base of cost optimized digital technology, slightly overtaking the Americas in as short as 2024. In fact, Omdia projects the Asia Pacific will have over 10.1 million active cost optimized digital users or 37% of the global user base. Tetra shipments were predominantly uh, in, in the Americas, uh, Central and South America and in Europe, in particular, uh, United Kingdom and Ireland, uh, Austria and Switzerland and Eastern Europe due to large investments in public safety projects, including terminal refreshes in Metropolitan Police and supply of aircraft radio for UK ESN, as well as upgrades and new deployments in Lithuania, Romania uh, and to the Moldovan ambulance services. The global spread of the corona disease epidemic has, has been the single biggest risk facing the world economy from 2020 well into 2021. As COVID-19 spreads across the globe, over half of the world's population has been affected either directly or indirectly. Given the destruction, wealthier countries have had the option to offer enhanced welfare payments to the surge in unemployment or to prop up failing industries such as the transportation sector in the European Union and the United States. The same industries in parts of the developing world do not have the luxury of financial intervention, including parts of Latin America, the Middle East and Africa. The important message is really resilience. COVID-19 has affected the global economy, but mission critical communications, given the important service they provide for public safety and other, have maintained the demand and even have grown in some cases. Let me tell you about the market. Analog radio works well. It has proved itself every day in countless deployments around the world. However, analog radio has reached its limitations of innovation and has now experienced slower growth in terms of end user adoption. The majority of end users now require more than what analog can offer. This migration started in 1990s and, and is not set to be complete well into 2020s. Regional differences may remain in the global migration to digital, but Asia has a large install base that is falling moderately. Europe and Americas have a faster transition to digital technologies than in the MEA, and trans transition is faster. The continued success and relative strength of Tetra and P25 for the public safety markets will drive the success of this transition. But it is important to note one of the main drivers to digitization is the evolution of cost optimal uh, digital technologies. For example, DMR, PDT, and also those NXDN technologies. They have been described as ideal solutions for replacement to analog radios in systems that can be satisfied by lower end digital solutions, as in the utilities and industrial markets. There are now many tiers of terminals available from low cost, limited function devices to high-end trunk devices with multiple features. Because of the increase in the supply base and the availability of different tiered option, Omdia projects strong growth of the market for this group of technologies. Interoperability for Tetra has proven successful for interoperability over time. Um, some would argue this has been a major factor in its success. Newer technologies to the market, including cost optimal digital, are increasing their response to interoperability requirements. 
Data usage in mobile radio systems has increased over the past years. Among those in public safety, transportation, utility, and other related industries, many end users are integrating more data applications into their day-to-day -day activities. Current LMR only supports SMS or simple location-based messages. However, broadband technologies offer hundreds of times of the throughput available on even the latest mobile radio networks. As professional mobile radio users seek to improve their efficiencies, end users have increased their channel loading. Traditionally, systems were implemented with considerable space to allow for new users. However, because of budget constraints, systems have become more and more channel loaded with limited capacity for additional users. Where does Tetra fit? Tetra is considered the gold standard in mission critical voice communications. The technology has proven its reliability across decades of service and is mission tested to ensure that emergency responders have a communication system they can trust when they need it most. Tetra has evolved a rich feature set addressing fundamental voice communications requirements that public safety and other end users require to support and often in complex operational teams. The proven interoperability is critical to why Tetra remains an important critical communications technology. What are the major reasons for its success? I mentioned before, reliability, high throughput, channel efficiency, terminal form factor, affordable high-end devices. Of course, there's challenges, coverage limitations, which we have to work through, and contiguous frequency block required. But ultimately, this delivers us a high-end, uh, fully workable solution that is working throughout the world today. So how about the Tetra market? Well, Europe is the largest Tetra market with more than 2.4 million active radios. Asia is the fastest growing technology market, uh, a KGAR of 6.5%. Uh, the Americas Tetra market is dominated by Latin America and the Caribbean countries right now. Given the high end performance of Tetra technologies, it really matches the needs of public safety and security. However, transportation and industry follow closely behind. Tetra terminals will continue to be in high demand globally at a KGAR growth rate of almost 21%. And the real market will be very interested in what will be the future of dual mode terminals. I mentioned earlier cost optimized radio and that this included DMR. Digital mobile radio was originally born out of the desire to replace unlicensed systems such as PMR446 and FRS with a digital alternative to reap the associated digital benefits. DMR offers audio and data channels working in TDMA, time division multiple access, that share the same radio channel with the 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth, reaching up to 9.6 kilobytes. DMR is very well suited for global analog manufacturers looking for a digital technology to act as a long-term migration path to digital over the next three to five years. Conventional technology has remained dominant of cost option optimized digital, However, DMR Tier 3, which is both trunked and a cost-optimized digital solution, provides an excellent alternative for those users that consider either Tetra to be uh, too expensive or over-engineered for their actual requirements. Other commercial users, utilities, and transportation networks are ideal for DMR Tier 3, uh, as some require trunking functionality, but do not need the value added Tetra functions and may be not looking to invest in high cost infrastructure. Omdia projects that especially greater uptake of DMR tier three will incur in regions where cost efficiency is paramount, such as in Eastern Europe and, and also in Croatia and in Africa, or in sectors where Tetra functionality is, is maybe just not a necessity, such as in uh, some parts of utilities and of course transportation. DMR conventional tier two was the dominant cost optimized digital technology in 2019, accounting for 86% of total shipments. Omdia projects that DMR tier two will remain the dominant technology throughout the forecast period of five years with a projected 80% of cost optimized digital shipments in 2024. 
Diamant Tier 3 is projected to be the fastest growing technology in Europe, increasing shipments from 41,500 in 2019 to 75,900 units in 2024, at a CAGR of above 10%. Europe has been an early inductor of this technology type, and as tier three evolves, the market will continue to adapt. PDT, the national rollout of PDT to all police units in China will significantly increase the cost optimized digital install base. While this is inevitably affects mostly the only the public safety sector, it may raise awareness and diversify into other sectors as a viable alternative to current uh, digital and analog solution. It is worth noting that ongoing discussions regarding dedicated bandwidth for PDT in China, um, around 800 megahertz is, is still being discussed uh, and we're seeing implementations across China um, that have uh, impact and also a complement uh, DMR and Tetra. The rollout in, in China is specifically has spread now to other parts of the world. PDT has determined uh, to have expanded into Eastern Europe um, and although small uh, scale is believed to be part of foreign direct investment operations also in Africa. Users apart from public safety the industrial sector will remain a vertical target as the user base looks to migrate to digital. Mines in Oceania, oil and gas in China and other parts of mainland Asia are looking to migrate to digital and the opportunities remains for all cost optimized digital technologies, including DMR tier two, DMR tier three and PDT to expand its user base. Key takeaways from uh, today's notes, public safety and security is a resilient market highly dependent on mission critical communications technology. The COVID-19 pandemic and worldwide supply chain challenges have not affected their technology demand. Enterprise sectors will start recovering also from 2022 onwards. The mission critical market is very dynamic. Digital transformation is ever going and Omdia projects that 80% of worldwide mission critical active radios will be digital by 2025. And the beginning of a new hybrid era in response to the market demands for data rich feature and services, Omdia argues that there is good reason for a hybrid approach, keeping trusted LMR technology such as Tetra, DMR and PDT for the indispensable voice communications in extreme situations and empower the additional services and features with integrated LTE broadband solutions. That concludes my uh, talk today. I hope you have enjoyed it. I would certainly welcome uh, any questions back to us at Amdia and congratulations Hytera uh, on your new product launch. My name is Thomas Lynch. It was great to and my pleasure to be able to update you on the mission critical communications market today. Goodbye. Nice sharing. Thank you, Thomas. Hatero keeps innovation and uh, development in critical communications to create more values for vertical industries and our customers. We will showcase our latest edge series products at a CCW event in November. Hope we can meet and have more face-to-face -face conversation there. And thanks for your time. Join our online product launch. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to contact our local sales team. That's all for today. See you soon at CDW.